All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn how to find the percent of the number using the proportion method and cross products. So here we go. What is 32% of 44? So the proportion method tells us that we need to set up two equivalent ratios because that's what a proportion is. Now 32% actually means 32 per 100. So we write this as a ratio of part to whole. Then we have to realize since we're finding 32% of 44, 44 is actually the whole. And we write that number on bottom. So we're comparing the same thing. If we have part to whole on this side, we want part to whole on the other side. So the part is that we're, what we're trying to find. Sometimes you can just look at the numbers and see how they relate to the other number um, by a scale factor or whatever and then solve the problem that way. But in this case, we're going to use the cross products method. So, a proportion tells us that if two numbers are proportional, which here we have two ratios that are equal, and that's the definition of a proportion, then the cross products will be equal. So 100 times x will actually equal the same value as 32 times 44. So all we're going to do is rewrite 100x equals 44 times 32. Now we're going to solve or evaluate each side of this equation and we get 100x equals 1,408. 44 times 32 equals 1,408. Next, we want to get x by itself. We want to isolate the variable. So in order to find out what 1x is, and we have 100x, we need to divide by this number or do the inverse operation. And the inverse of multiplication is division. When we divide both sides by 100, we end up with x equals 14 and 8 hundredths. So that is how you use the proportion method to solve percent of a number problems. And the cross products using inverse operations will help you to find the solution. All right, well, I hope that helped you out with understanding percent of a number. See ya!